Hi, this is Tim Hinton, the beast of the marching arts. I'm the host of the Marching Roundtable podcast and the creator of MarchingArtsEducation.com. Thanks for being here at our YouTube channel. We hope you'll subscribe so you can see exclusive live interviews, plus excerpts from podcasts, webinars, and interviews from live events. This is really the best way to find out what you might want to go back to our website and see an entire conversation. Thanks for being here. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Hey everyone, this is Tim Hinton, the beast of the marching arts. Thanks for listening to the Marching Roundtable podcast. My guest today, Joe Holes. Joe, how are you? Very good, very good. It's about eight o'clock over here, five hours ahead of where you're at. So That's right. You are in the UK, so thanks. I love that we have this communication now where we can just do this anytime we want to. And I got to tell you, I love what we're talking about because a lot of people want to write drill, but they're like, man, I do not know how to start. Where do I even begin? I want to learn how to do this. I want to write for my own group. I want to do this for other groups. I just, I just want to know how it works. You have a new resource that we have at Marching Arts Education now, which is about how it teaches you how to write drill, the basics of how to use Pyware, and then basic concepts for how to actually start to write drills. Because it's one thing to know how to use Pyware, it's another to actually know how to write drill itself. So this is a great, great resource. I'm so excited that we have it available. Everybody can find it at marchingarteducation.com. Of course, there's a link where this podcast is located. So Joel, before we get into talking more about the course and, and how it works, tell everybody who you are. We know you're in the UK. Tell us where you, what you're doing there. Yeah, well, um, you know, I've been writing and, and doing uh, marching man shows and, and drill design since uh, 2003. Uh, when I was marching in drum corps, I marched with the Phantom Regiment for five years and uh, and met my wife there, actually, and, and uh, uh, you know, went to college and finished up college in Michigan and became a band director and moved down to Georgia and was a band director in Georgia for 14 years. And then alongside that, I also uh, wrote marching band shows and uh, used that as kind of extra uh, you know, extra uh, money on the side for the family and, and uh, then uh, through COVID, we decided that we would like to have uh, an opportunity to let my my wife, who's British, uh, her parents be grandparents a little bit. And so we uh, moved, moved over here this summer and things have been going really well. So uh, I transitioned from being a teacher into a full time drill designer uh, and photographer. So I do a lot of other photography stuff on the side. And uh, I thought that uh, putting this this tutorial series together, uh, which is actually I did through uh, COVID and being at home uh, would be something I think that would be helpful because like you said in the beginning, there's there's some directors that want to write their own drill. There's some band directors that don't have a choice and they have to anyway because they either don't have the budget or, um, you know, they they don't, uh, you know, have the, the resources in their area. So uh, I think the course is really well designed and it is a good resource for those that are looking to, you know, learn Pyware, and also, um, you know, learn to write a show because there's a difference between knowing the software and then also knowing how to create something for your group. And I think it, it does a good job of of getting in there and, and, and doing that. Yeah, this whole thing is like two hours, everybody. Come on. It's like a couple hours of video. I mean, you're going to if you do the assignments and work through it, it's going to take a little more than that. But you can work at your own time and your own resource. I got to tell you, Joe, I did not realize our lives were quite so parallel because I also was a Phantom <laughs> Regiment member and then I went on to be a band director who then became a full-time um, designer. So this it's very interesting how parallel <laughs> that is. It's very cool. So I, I love that this is available. So let's talk about the first part of it, the basics of learning Pyware. Here's the thing, everybody, there are lots of ways to learn this, right? Like there, there are great resources from Pyware themselves. There are great resources online. Um, we have other resources at Martin Arts Education to help you figure out Pyware. The thing I love, Joe, that you did though, is like you, you're gonna take me through it. Like I, if I'm brand new to this, I kind of want a little bit of hand holding, right? Like I want you to really guide me through it. That's what you're doing here, right? Yeah, I, I kind of approached it um, from a standpoint of uh, creating a workflow of, you know, first those those tools that you're gonna use first. Uh, because Pyware is kind of, um, kind of like Photoshop or some of these other big big programs out there where there's so much that you can do but really, a lot of it boils down to those three or four, you know, core tools and core things that you do, uh, you know, to create um, the transitions you need to create. And if you get a good foundation of those basics, then throughout, you know, 
going and, and creating using those, you'll find all the other little ones and the little bells and whistles that are along there. So um, it helps, I think, to, to a beginner to tackle it in small chunks and just those, you know, those fundamental tools that you need first. And then along the way, you'll pick up some of those extra other little things uh, that are there that can make your life a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've been writing drill my whole life, practically. I mean, certainly my whole career. And I love Pyware, and I think it's great. And I've been there since it was really early on. Like, I've been using Pyware a long, long time. But the thing is, you know, I, there, I know there's stuff on it I don't know how to use. And I basically write drill with the same four or five tools, you know, um, and I think, but, but so that you're giving people a great way to get started. And listen, everybody, if you think you want to learn to do this, um, we're recording this in December. This podcast is going to be out in January. This is the time to start learning because you have, you, you want to start on it, start playing with it, start learning how to do it all during the winter and spring. So that if you actually start to write a drill for your group in the fall, um, you're not tackling it then. Like, I think it's great to get a head start. Plus Joe, it's kind of fun. You know what I mean, like it's fun to sort of like, well, let me pick a song and write a drill for it. And I'm going to pretend this is my interpretation. Like it can be fun to figure out how it works and to spend some time with it. So it can almost be like a little hobby in your spare time. Yeah. Uh, you know, it. the chapters go along, uh, I think, a pretty logical pathway. And uh, there's, you know, there are PyWare files that you open up and it'll literally tell you click here and click here and then click here and click here, and it'll show you what the program is doing. So you kind of understand all that um, as you go. So it's very, very straightforward. Um, but I also have uh, some sessions as well in the new year uh, coming up as well. If you wanted some extra um, kind of face-to-face -face instruction, I've already had a lot of people sign up for them, and um, they're available. The sign-up's available on my, uh, my website. And uh, we'll do some of the same stuff we do in the tutorial as well. And then, you know, I'll be open for questions as well. They're three hours long uh, and it'll be assignment based. You'll have an instrumentation and music and, and we'll talk about how to the, you know, set up the page tabs, sync the audio, create the drill and uh, we'll have a chance to share. So, um, you know, there's there's uh, a lot of kind of fun in doing it. I've created all the assignments for that curriculum for that. And while I'm going, I'm going. All right, what song are we going to use for this one? Oh yeah, this would be good, you know. Then and then right. it would really, you know, would really be uh, kind of cool for for them to have an opportunity to write drill, um, you know, to music that has, you know, a fantastic woodwind feature in it. Or this one is more of a stock chart and is for a show band, you know, and kind of talk about those style differences and uh, you know would would really set you up really well if you were. Um, if your group falls in line with some of those things. So those sessions yeah. should should uh, run twice a month and uh, all the signups and stuff are on my website. So if you're interested in, in doing that as well for a more face-to-face -face approach, we're doing that. Uh, yeah, it's great to be a, yeah, be a part of that drill writing community and get some feedback and meet other people that are doing it as well. Uh, there's a link yeah. to that also where this podcast is located, the Marching Roundtable. So looking at the, at the, the chapter titles, for the learning Pyware part. It's setting up your Pyware yeah. program in a new file, then creating forms, basic transitions. Transition, of course, is when you move from one form to another, and that's really what drill is, uh, is, right. is how you move from form to form. I mean, the, the arrivals are important, but great drill is because of transitions. <laughs> then it, yeah. you have uh, a chapter about symbols, labels, and a production sheet, then props, floor covers, and real fabrics, and then exporting your completed file. So this, like, it's the basics. Like you said, it's the basics of how to use Pyware, but I like that you're going to walk me through it. Um, yeah. So I think that that's really valuable. Yeah, that, you know, each chapter, uh, I wanted to keep the the uh, the times on the videos down as much as I could because, you know, we've all kind of gotten used to these um, you know, these these long Zoom sessions and these virtual sessions. And if you can just have, you know, a 10 minute or an eight minute session where you get the information and then you're you're able to go and work on your own or work through the file, I think you learn a lot more uh, by doing instead of just listening to me talk the whole time. So I thought that uh, I'd, I'd kind of keep them short um, in that respect. Uh, but I also like uh, the chapter breakdown follows your workflow, which is when every drill designer does. If you look at it, you know, you start a file. You're, you're working on your you know your first set or your first hit um, and you're then you work on your transitions and putting everybody in the right place making sure the motion looks good 
But that's really half the battle. I mean, you know, as well as I do, as soon as that drill is done, you go, ah, oh, I did it. And then there comes the formatting, making sure the labels look good, making sure all the text and information is there and easy, easily shareable um, for your client or, or for yourself so that uh, when you hand the coordinate cards to the kids, when you print out the drill charts, it's all uh, easy to understand and it can be taught quickly. Um, and that's really what your client wants or you want with your group is to be able to put that drill on in a really fast and efficient manner. Um, so in you know, knowing those those formatting things, um, how to create a movie file uh, easily so you can share it with their kids and, you know, making sure that they can um, you can customize your drill so that it's exactly what your client is looking for. So they have the best possible rehearsal is the other half of the battle. And then the back half of the tutorial series uh, is really about how to write the drill. You know, once you've got a good handle on the program and you've got all your, your uh, defaults saved, how you like it, you, you know how it looks, the last half of it focuses more on, you know, what you should be writing or, or how you could go about writing. Right, those titles are pre-planning account sheets, visual planning and file setup, and then just basics of how to write. And that's the, the thing I love about this too is, if I want to get started, not only do I need to be, like you said, not only do I need to be able to use the Power program, but I also sort of need to know, okay, where am I headed with this? Like, how, what's the process that I use to try to make this work? Um, and I love that they're easily digestible. I can watch a 10 minute video in my spare time. I can work on the assignment right then or later. I can go back and watch it again or watch parts of it again. Like, you know, you have access to this stuff that you can keep going back to and referring to. Um, so it just seems like, you know, a couple of hours of video that's gonna really give me the, the start I need. And so thanks for taking the time to do this. I mean, we've all been there trying to figure it out and we've all been yeah. with people who are trying to learn. It can be overwhelming. And so I don't want people to be overwhelmed. I want them to have fun and learn and, and be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's the program is very powerful and full of tools. And I think the 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 uh, tutorial really um, really just helps at, at first to boil down to you know exactly just what you need the basics and then I think the, that last half really does help with putting some of the using some of the bells and whistles and some of the uh, those main things that you that you uh, can do to speed up how how you work um, you know with some of the extra the tools that are there um, and. Yeah, I just, I really do think I've had a lot of good feedback. We've had, we've had uh, a lot of students take it already and, and, and people who um, have given it great ratings. It's never gotten, it's a, like a 4.5 out of 5 from all my folks that have already taken it, which is great. So I'm really happy with, uh, with how it turned out and I, I'm planning on adding to it and kind of continuing to, to uh, you know, enhance it as we go if new features or new things come out with Pyware. But Right now, if you've got version seven, eight, nine, and up, you should be pretty good. I mean, if, if you've got a real view window in your in your uh, Pyware, most of this is going to be uh, uh, you know a applicable to what you're doing. Um, and even then, all of the tools are still there from those older versions. So uh, I recommend it for anybody who's really trying to to get in and get and get a um, you know familiar with with the program because it can really change, uh, you know, how you, either you're writing for your group or it can really just change, uh, if you're a band director, how you can interact with those files from your drill designer to make sure that you can uh, give your kids exactly what you're looking for, for that awesome rehearsal. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different ways this could be used. Certainly, if there's somebody who wants to become a drill writer, this is a great way to start. But as you said, if you're a band director, if you're writing for your own group, okay, well, I can learn really what I need to know in a couple hours here and then you know start to practice from there. Um, but even if I'm a drill, uh, I'm a band director and I don't have to write my own drill, I still need to know how it works. I mean, I really, like you said, I need to know how Pyware works and I need to know how drill writing works a little bit. So taking a couple hours for my own personal development to sort of learn this, it's just gonna make me better as I'm having those conversations with my drill writer or I'm working with my team. Um, you know, I mean, that can be said for a lot of the resources we have about visuals and drill writing and stuff on, Martial arts education, but this is just another great tool. And especially, like I said, if you're somebody out there and you're like, I've always wanted to do this, you know, get a good head start.
Um, so Joe, I think this is a great way to do it. It's called How to Write Drill, Pyware and Drill Design Basics. You can find it at marchingarpseducation.com. Just put the word drill into the search bar or it's right there in the main menu. Um, you'll be able to find it too. Uh, what do you want to say as we're closing, Joe? Uh, also, I just wanted to add, you know, I've got a YouTube channel as well uh, where uh, I cover some topics, a lot of things that I see on the Pyware forums where uh, if people are struggling with a certain topic or we see a, 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 you know, a post over and over and over again, I've made a lot of videos to help uh, for those folks that are, are looking for answers to those questions. So uh, on my YouTube channel, Drill Design Solutions, uh, there's, there's uh, I think, over 30 different tutorials. I've got got them kind of broken up. I have ones that are called two minute drills and they're really quick little videos to explain little things. I've got ones called band director's guide to Pyware, which is kind of what we were just talking about. Um, if you uh, want to get familiar with Pyware and you, you can expect certain things from your drill designer if they're not giving them to you, like videos and coordinate cards and drill. And um, if you need to amend a drill, say you had a kid that broke their ankle and you needed to take them out of the out of the drill and how to do that easily um, on your own so that you can uh, have that fixed real quick. Um, and then other ones that are just longer tutorials. So the YouTube channel really helps as well. So if you have a chance to, to get over to my website, drilldesignsolutions.com and check out the YouTube and uh, like and share and just have that as a resource if you need it. Um, that's really about it. I'm really thankful uh, for you and your platform and what you do, Tim, it's really just excellent every week to watch your podcast and listen to all your stuff. It's it's um, it's a blessing, especially for those band directors that don't have those kind of resources just hanging around. And and uh, it's just an awesome, awesome thing that you do. Really well, appreciate thank you. it. Oh, thanks. Of course. I appreciate you saying that. Of course, our mission is to help people be able to do better and learn the things they need to learn. I would say, Joe, like you watch your group and you think, man, if they just... If I could just talk to that staff and tell them a couple things, I could really maybe, you know, really help them. Yeah. So that's that's sort of the concept. And I think that's what you're doing here, too. It's like, OK, people, let's help you get a really good start here. You know, don't mm -hmm. be overwhelmed. Don't just sort of fight your way through a tutorial. But let me let me guide you through this a little bit. To me, it's really well worth an investment to to have you help me do that and give me a good start. Uh, you yeah. know, so I, I love that you're doing that. So, Joe, thanks for talking to me today. And thanks for, again for for making this resource available. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Marching Arts Education is the home of the Marching Roundtable podcast and Color Guard EDU. We give you access to the top marching arts professionals through live webinars, podcasts, videos, interviews, and online coursework. With over 1,000 podcasts and hundreds of webinars and videos, there are hours of great professional development for you and your staff. Sign up for a membership to Marching Arts Education to get complete access to all webinars, videos, and podcasts, plus discounts on coursework. Many directors are using professional development funds through their school or boosters to make these resources available to their staff. Imagine what you could do with so many great new ideas from the top professionals in our activity. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up for our newsletter to find out about the latest podcasts, webinars, and new content. Find all of this and sign up at marchingartseducation.com.